whenever you get your favorite vehicle model, either from the manufacturer or from the internet. You need to keep in mind, not every vehicle model can be used inside your favorite game or in the game industry. Only models which are labeled as game ready are the ones you are looking for. Those models may or may not come with numerous level of details or versions to represent the vehicle at various distances. Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this series of videos, we are going to demonstrate the process of creating a game ready optimized vehicle model by using the retopology technique inside 3ds max our main goal is to make a low poly vehicle base which can be used later to create a game ready vehicle with numerous level of detail press 7 on your keyboard to open the statistics the amount of polygons used in this model are way too high to be used in any level of detail inside any game the previous statement is based on the work of well-known studios inside the game industry even with this high number of polygons the model still missing a lot of details such as a defined interior an engine door sills and shuts also this amount of quadro polygons will be higher than that when exporting this model into tri polygons Autodesk has included some modifiers to help the designers doing optimization or creating multi-resolution models inside 3ds max. Let's take a look at them. Apply multi-resolution modifier to the current object. Press generate start decrease the vertices count from the modifier window. At the same time you are watching the decrease. In the poly count, the object topology is continuously converting into a mess. Remove the multi resolution modifier. Apply the optimize modifier to the current object. Again, we have the same result as the multi resolution modifier. Remove the optimize modifier. Apply pro optimize modifier to the current object. Press calculate and start decrease the vertices percentage and or the vertices count. Once more, the result is the same as in the previous modifiers. If you decided to use these modifiers, you still need to clean the result in order to have a clean mesh with decent topology. However, this is not the kind of result we would like to achieve in this tutorial. Although I do appreciate having these modifiers inside 3ds Max, I never include any of them. In my workflow, we can manually optimize the object by removing some loops or weld some vertices.
However, this is not a perfect way to spend our time. Normally, you should start your design from a primitive or low poly and define its shape until you reach the high resolution model. And this is exactly what we are going to do next. That was an introduction for our retopology tutorial inside 3ds Max. Thanks for watching.